Y'all, please bear with us here. This is the first day of trying to get Lex to help with stirring the oatmeal. No, you gotta hold it with two hands, son. If you took your pickle pop out of your mouth, easy, turn it slow. No, don't let it turn your hand. You gotta hold the hand, you gotta hold your hands firm and just barely, barely pull the trigger. Okay, that's, come on, give it a turn. Squeeze it harder and hold, hold your hands firm. If you took the pickle pop out of your mouth, are you done with the pickle pop? No. I just hold it firm right there and just squeeze the trigger barely. Okay. Looky here. So you can barely go in there. You don't gotta go all the way to the bottom. And as you go deeper, it's gonna be a little bit harder if so you don't squeeze the trigger very hard. Now you get a couple of spins. Here, you're back. I like your shoes. I like your shoes. A what? Lex Morrow. Hey folks, Lester here. Uh, Tex is upset with daddy. And it's because yesterday I did not feed him. You heard me right. You heard me right. Yesterday was a horrific day for me. Uh, I feel fine, but I went over to Longhorn Lester's early. I had to be there at 7. And so I got up early and took off over there. And uh, I ended up getting myself into quite the ordeal. To where I was there very late last night. And when I, got, when I finally got home, I just could not find the strength to feed and so right now I woke up this morning and all the bigs and littles are all in a frenzy, like they're just starving. Even though you can see there's green grass behind me, the babies are just used to eating uh, their grains. And if not eating, they just want the social event of hanging out with dad for a while. Come on, buddy. I got some feet here. And so, yeah, he's, he's quite the pouty little fellow today. I'm hoping that this will make everything right. Now, you guys can tell that uh, this brute has not missed too many meals, okay? So he may have missed one yesterday, but in general, he's not missed too many meals. Now, I've already gone out back and fed those guys. They are all out back for the day. I would have closed that gate off, so they're fine. There is so much green. God has blessed us, and guys, there is so much green to be eaten back there. So they're, they're fine. But uh, it was just a social event. He'd been here by himself all day. And uh, all there is to keep him company is Billy's girls. And any of you guys who knows how it feels to be surrounded by pretty ladies all day and then go home alone. You know what? That probably is not going to work out best for me. I'm going to skip that. I know with the wind you can't hear me, but I want you to look down there, right past the windmill, on the ground is Cornholio. And right behind him are about 50 churchgoers who have just come out of church, and Cornholio has taken the liberty to walk down and remind them that this is private property. Now I think he hears my voice and he's coming this way. He just wanted to let me know that he's told them that they need to stay over on that side of the fence and that this is his side. Yeah, you hear him, he's letting them know. So here's what I worry about. And I don't mean this in any form of disrespect whatsoever. But you know people do eat turkey. And it would not be hard for someone to realize there's a turkey right along the fence line. And whenever church is over and everyone leaves, that one person swing back by here real fast, jump over that fence, grab that turkey, 
and they have a delicious turkey dinner. And yes, I worry about that. What do you want us to do, Jamie? I want to pull them off. They're, if they're, that's, they're, <laughs> that's Mother Nature, Jamie. They're not going to hurt each other. They are hurting each other. All right, well, then pull them apart then. I'm going to video you. <laughs> Jamie. Let go! Let go! <laughs> Maggie, you don't get involved in that. Maggie, baby, leave them alone. Maggie, they don't need your help, baby. Listen, there's a reason that Pablo has to prove his dominance over whatever's going on there. But it's sad. Adam or Steve? Well, Adam or Steve better leave his girls alone. That's all it boils down to. Adam or Steve needs to leave his girls alone. Don't think that doesn't happen in every animal species in, on this planet, no, including no, our own. Get him, Pablo! If it was the other way around, we'd help him. Yeah, right, that's me! I do. We're not letting no one hurt Pablo. Pablo just wants his girls. And Adam or Steve needs to leave him alone. Go like that pond where he lives.